Slob Defense, Modern, Chameleon Variation, 5.E3B56.B3. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. A wing pawn is available in the queen's gambit to attack the center and divert black's attention away from the e4 square. The d5 pawn is supported by c6 in the slob defense. The battle for the e4 square is launched by nc3 by attacking the d5 position. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. This defends the attacked pawn. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. b5 takes space on the queen side and attacks the c4 pawn. b3 supports c4 and prepares to fianchetto the dark squared bishop to b2, where it will sit on the long diagonal. By pinning a knight, this increases pressure. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. That's good. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. This disregards a more effective approach to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. This exchange is fair. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This misses a chance to trample a knight. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to move a piece to safety. This permits the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This misses a chance to threaten a rook and gain tempo. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. That's fine. It is good. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. That's good. This is a missed chance to offer an equal exchange of goods. It is incorrect. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. That's a decent move. That's good. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's fine. It is good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This places a rook on the 7th rank, activating it and putting the other side's king under pressure. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. 
The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the seventh rank, activating it. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is excellent. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.